Hello, welcome to Should I Buy This Game? My name is Christine and we are at Gen Con 2024 and we are at day two. So this video is going to have some more behind the scenes footage of things we've seen today. As well, at the end, I'm going to do another add-on with the games I bought today, but spoiler alert, it wasn't as many as I bought yesterday, thankfully for my pocketbook. Now, even though we have this video, don't forget to check out our Gen Con playlist, because we have been filming loads of demos of games that you may not have been able to see yet. There are a lot of Kickstarter games, or games that will be released within the next month to the next year. So be sure to check that out on our channel. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of this video.
are back at the hotel and it's time to show you today's games. Now, if you watched yesterday's video, you know we bought a few. Today, it's literally a quarter of that, but they're still fun nonetheless, so let's check them out. So first off, I got three of these tiny little games. They're like little uh, strips with different things on them and they play different ways. Um, they're just really cute, fun, easy to throw in your pocket and take with you. So we were able to pick up three of those. This is Parkade. We actually got this game for free. If you play the game and win, you win the game and mark one. So we got this one for free. This is like a word association game. Next, I was very excited. I finally got Witchcraft. I've been waiting about a year for this game. So this is a solo only game. And so I'm excited to finally be able to play it and try it out. Boop the Halls. So this is really cute. If you've ever played Boop before it was on a bed, now it's on this three-layered Christmas tree. It introduces ornaments. And the designer of all the Boop games was there and uh, signed our Boop the Halls game. So that's really cute. I'm looking forward to playing it. I'll probably wait for the holidays to do that. And while we were there, we got a Boop, an official Boop Boop. So cute. You could have even gotten a hat or an ornament, so many things, but I just stuck with the main boop. So that'll be a fun addition to my living room. Into a bit bigger game now. This is my Celia, not to be confused with the other my Celia. It is a mushroom game from Burnt Island Games. And I picked this up. We, uh, we have a video coming out uh, very shortly. Um, that we filmed that will show you how it's played but I'm not exactly sure when it's coming out for retail so I thought this would be a great time to pick it up. It plays one to four players. I got the game I Heart Manatees and again the designer was there and we filmed a video with him showing he shows us how to play the game that will be posted shortly if it hasn't been posted already and it's just a cute little game and part of the proceeds are going to go to help the manatees. So we just thought it was really cute little game. And the last game I got was Sushi Go. This is their 10th anniversary and Phil was there as well. So he signed it. Today was the day that all my games got signed, it seems. And um, so this is a special edition of it. It's limited, they're numbered. There's only 10,000 copies made. Um, I've never played Sushi Go. But I thought if there's some time to try it, it is with this edition. And that, that is it. That is what I bought today. Just six big games, three little games, and a boop.